We have uh, Fire Prevention Month is October, and of course the kids all talk about it in school, but let's talk about what you can do for your home um, for fire prevention, and who better to tell us? Jim Hewitt from uh, Home Depot here to share some ideas. Good morning. Good morning, Amy. Now we're going to start by talking about space heaters. This is when people start turning them on. Our temperature's now just only in the 30s. Yeah, and th these are real popular this time of year. And saw some snowflakes on the way in this morning so a lot of cubicles at work see mm -hmm. these a lot of workspaces bedrooms that type of thing uh, the important thing is making sure you have the right heater for the right space okay and then making sure that you're plugging them in not to an extension cord but directly into an outlet that's oh, very important right. with heaters and also they are safe I know we we hear of a lot of problems with space heaters but there are some that are safer than others as always you want to keep anything flammable away from mm -hmm. them but they're getting safer and safer every year this is a quartz heater that's capable of doing multiple rooms okay. and then you've got ceramic heaters that type of thing too that have a very very uh, it's very difficult to get any type of ignition from any of those so, so these would be safer. better for a cubicle yes okay absolutely. a better size for that now last time we talked about the nest and all the different things that you can connect to control things outside your home but that also refers to fire prevention too absolutely and there's a couple of different ones here these are 10-year alarms so they don't need to be wired they oh. have a 10-year battery on them and they'll communicate and they'll actually speak to some of these alarms so they don't scare children Oh, and that's then good. this one right here, that's, that's the Nest. And if you have the Nest thermostat mm -hmm. and that detects smoke in your home, it'll actually shut your furnace off. It'll also Wonderful. do that for carbon monoxide too. And then it alerts you on your phone. Absolutely. If you have smoke. this hub, okay. it, it'll connect to your smartphone or your tablet. And say that there's smoke. Now, um, when I was younger, we actually had a kitchen fire. And I never realized that there's two <laughs> different fire extinguishers, one specifically for kitchen fires. Yes, and, and that's a mistake a lot of people make. They use the standard mm -hmm. red extinguisher that everybody recognizes. This is made for kitchens. It's made for grease fires and that type of thing, but it also has a nozzle that doesn't spray hard. That way, okay. if you have a grease fire, you're not spraying flammable grease all over your walls and creating more ignition points there too. So it's it's designed for that. And, and then, oh, these aren't that expensive either. This is no. a good thing to have that everyone should have for their kitchen. Yeah, and then this is a new product by First Alert, and this actually sprays four times longer than one of these extinguishers. Really? Yep. So that would work in the same way? Mm hmm Okay, and then the regular fire extinguisher that you could keep just in your home or even out in the garage? Yes, that's good for paper, trash, mm -hmm. gas fires, that type of thing. Okay, and now the last thing, of course, we're getting into holiday decorating. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of this in plugging the lights in with the extension cords. First, you want to make sure you have the right cords. Absolutely, and, and you want to use an outdoor cord mm -hmm. on anything outdoor, and okay. you can use an outdoor cord inside the home, too, but uh, they'll be labeled in our stores, mm -hmm. indoor, outdoor, and this is, th these look alike, but this is an indoor only rated cord right here. Okay. That's an indoor, outdoor cord right there. And then if you're making connections outside with all the holiday decorating, this is a real popular item that we have right now too, and you actually make a connection inside, uh -huh. and this is going to be watertight too. So you should not connect your extension cords to the lights outside and then just leave them lying in the snow. It, it's always best to have something like that, especially okay. if it's going to be laying in a wet area, absolutely. Okay, and these, they're pretty lightweight. It's just the um, foam insulation mm -hmm. in it, and then you can use them year to year. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Well, a lot of great ideas for home safety, and of course a lot of homes already built with the um, fire alarms in them, but good thing to add a few of the other Others, and keep these safety tips in mind, too. Thanks so much, Jim. My pleasure. Well, coming up on the morning show, we're going to take a look at your weather authority forecast. A chilly day ahead. Stay with us.